when we had last left the Spacefarer. They continued their adventures with Marco Jansen, who needed help for his family on Aquila. They were about to starve to death without any source of reliable income. And so they returned back to talk to the mayor in order to let a somewhat distant relative access to to have access back to the city after they had summarily gotten banned from the city after doing a little bit of smuggling. But thanks to their incredible per persuasive ways, they were able to convince the mayor to cut that shit out. And now the family would be able to feast once more. And also, who could forget the sensors that were to detect Ashta had gone awry. And Davis decided to go outside of the walls and found a weird, strange robot that was in some way mimicking Ashta. And now it was time to... <laughs> and now it was time to investigate what was up with these sensors? What's up with the Ashta? Who is meddling in these affairs? This... This is Starfield. <laughs> Welcome back. Shoop, shoop. Oh my gosh, my character moved too. All right, let's let's fucking do it. Search the security logs. There we are. Good, good, good. Cannot wait to go inside of either of these two like religious buildings. Very excited to see what awaits there with all that. Because so far, I quite like um, for the walls, the their takes with all that. Oh, uh, yeah? Are you the third party? People have no idea what we do to keep them safe. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see here. I always wonder if these are actually, like, cameras. Like... I don't know what the fuck their deal is. You know, are they multiple... Are they like 360 degree... Cameras or something? I have no clue. Huh. I wonder if they, they were important in some way. You know? For stealth characters, if there was some sort of, like, surveillance situation, because there's there's remarkably little of it in Starfield, despite being science fiction where the world would totally have, like, cameras still functioning normal. Okay. Well. I think I don't mind if I take a few of these. Actually, those were free. Okay. If I get called on one more drunk and disorderly... <laughs> Best way to get someone to not bother you. All Nobody's right. allowed outside the city walls after nightfall. It's for their own safety. Okay. Can I can I get here? Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what. But they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. And they like to pick them clean. Right. It's um so okay if I get on this computer? <laughs> how, how do I get you to stop using it? Oh? Oh fuck. No? <laughs> uh -oh. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, hmm. Do I have some kind of weird power that I could use to... <laughs> <laughs> to manage this. Grav dash, grav wave, precog. Ooh, grav field. Yeah, if I do this from stealth, like behind the wall, will they know it was me? Yeah, like why would they why would they think it would be me? You know? It should work. Oh don't, don't hurt them. How, how would they know? How would they know it was me? Okay, let's just get on the computer real quick. <laughs> no, no, we can't do that. Sam Co got very upset. Yeah, suspect oh my gosh, they're trying to put me down. Okay, okay, we can't do that. 
right? I can't just fucking hit him either because Sam Coe is going to be pissed about it. We have to do something else. Okay. What if, um... Yeah, here, let's... Huh? <laughs> okay. Check that out. Holy shit. Did that actually work? What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, okay, okay. Wait, I can't use it! What the fuck? I can't... I can't can't actually click on it. There's no, there's no prompt. Oh my gosh, no one can use it. That's why she stopped. What the fuck happened? Is it only usable during a certain time of day? What the hell? Uh, can I sleep here? Maybe I'll try to sleep. See if, see if that works. The galaxy ain't gonna conquer itself. Shit. Okay, what if I go inside and outside? Or outside and then back inside, I should say. Maybe hitting a load screen will, you know, reconfigure the whole situation. Jesus, tame a bit. <laughs> it just crashes the fucking game. <laughs> Alright. Hey, holy shit, it worked. Fantastic. Okay. Patrol notes. Today's notes. Small pack of Ashta on North Ridge. Another fight at Aggie's. Two people in lockup until they sleep it off. Little Miss Emily caught an actual pickpocket. Gave her a sticker. Didn't go over well. I'm not six, she said. Almost had a shootout by the spaceport. Not sure what was up with that. No one's pressing charges. What the fuck? What was the shootout about? Good god. Okay, access logs. Equipment checkout. Ooh. Repaired. Sidearm. Davis Wilson, I presume. Canteen Davis Wilson. Okay, baton. Q. Levita? Levita? If anyone can find Almedo's helmet, there will be a reward. It has a picture of his son in it, so it has sentimental value. Do you think you can actually go looking for it and find it? Uh-oh. Robot updates. <gasps> By Kirkland B. Data corruption detected. Kirkland B. Oh, fuck. Okay. We already went through everything in the barracks, though, correct? Yeah. Jesus, what a... Wild ass <laughs> bit of graffiti in there, <laughs> right? Everything is so pristine. I mean, it's it's the fucking, it's the fucking guards themselves doing it, right? They're the ones doing the graffiti. Cause who? Why would you come directly into the guard barracks, right? <laughs> like, dog, you're just shitting right here in the room. Like they could probably hear your marker or your spray can. You know, they could just hear you doing it. <laughs> okay, over here. The guards probably do it themselves and then blame it on whoever they want to kick out of the city or arrest. Jesus Christ. You're Kirkland. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would I be fucking knew it. Buffet. You're the third party. Let's do a quick save. Or a hard save. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? He's... <clears throat> He's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh... Bad happened out there. No, he died. He died. <laughs> God, I wish you could say that. Just immediately get them to like oust their own actions, right? Just be like, yeah, he's dead. I'm here to say, I'm sorry. It's grim news. We were out there and we got attacked. We, we were accosted by a pack of especially strange and hostile Ashta. I checked the security logs. I know what you did. We're both fine. No thanks to you. He's not going to be happy when he hears you're the one who sent that robot out there. He's not going to be happy. Oh, no. <laughs> Look, That's your response? getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. 
What a fucking clown. If my pockets were weighted down with credits, I might not be able to make it to Davis. <laughs> wow. Sounds like it's time to start looking for a new job. I'll ask Davis to go easy on you. No, fuck off. Sounds like it's time to start looking for a new job. I was just trying to make life easier for Davis. I swear. You should have fucking thought. What you did could have gotten people hurt. Yeah. Killed. Sometimes you gotta pay the piper. Fucking A. Get ready to pay that piper. She could use it too. The newsprint ain't what it used to be. <laughs> no, it's pretty good, huh? Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, let's let's go on out over here. Great. Good, good, good. Are we meeting with David? Yeah. Okay. Oh, all the way down. Ooh, 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 fuck. There we are. Thank goodness for the boost pack. All right, Davis. Look at him. He's so fucking wired. He's well, holding his imaginary gun. Is in for it. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? Like, the computer logs were corrupted. No way to tell who did. Wow, you can, you can go back on it. Bailey Kirkland is your culprit. Kirkland said she did it to make your life easier. Said Keone was affecting your job performance. It, it was Bailey Kirkland. What? No way. My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. <laughs> Whole world's going I'm crazy. Go this. Thanks for helping out. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. Not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove. He just gives me like ten grand. The fuck, he's not far off. We're not making money out here. Just like casually passes me eight point seven grand. Okay, another period where we have to wait a bit. Sounds good. All right. Well, let us track this down. Yeah, whole new quest. Davis Wilson said that now the seismic sensors can start recording good data. I should come back tomorrow and talk with Keone Alpin. Okay. I can't believe Bailey did such a bonehead move. Yeah, I more so want to see Davis rip into Kirkland, Bailey. One more mistake and she's out of a job. Damn. <laughs> I can't believe she got a second chance. These fucking cops, huh? What the hell? Jeez. Where 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 does the fucking buck stop? It should stop there, right? Like, whoa, fuck, I'm gonna become Ashton Food. But um <laughs> It's like uh, it's like Sam Crow said, fucking someone could have got killed. Someone like me, <laughs> right? I could have gone out there and got fucked up by these horrifying Ashta and how vicious they are. <laughs> All right. Anything good around here? Kodo's crater. A steel bottle. Oh my god. Is it a Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Look at that. Okay. Damn. Fucking sneaker heads cannot be stopped. Howdy. Howdy, how'd you get in here? <laughs> You're better at sneaking than I am. Look at these little tiny plants mounted here. Oh, how quaint. Alright, well, let's track down that other quest then. Last Will and Testament. Head out to the farm. There we go. Good. What? Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's on the southern pole. In the snow zone. The larger, larger a planet's axial tilt, the more the length of the day will vary during the year. Right. You don't think the they actually sim- God, I bet they fucking did. Predators. I bet- th I bet they fucking actually simulated shit like that. That 100% would make sense to me, that they would fucking go out of their way to include some weird ass system that nobody is gonna fucking notice, right? That tracks so much. Okay. 
Where is this creature? Actually, I guess I, it doesn't matter. I've already scanned. Oh, this is them. This is the farm. Oh, shit. Okay. There's the Ashta. Easy enough. I love the elk Kragnan. They look so peace loving. God, look at them. Holy shit, I just wanna like. <laughs> I wanna run up and like. smack its big butt. <laughs> Oh shit, what the fuck? There's a guy in here. Hold up. Oh my gosh, maybe they're not peace-loving? Are the elk Kragnan, like, eating people? What's going on? There are dead workers in here being eaten by elk Kragnan. Oh my god, I lied. Elk Kragnan are fucked up dudes. Look at this. Wow, free money, okay. Good job, elk Kragnan. You know what? Keep it up. Invasive Carousel Filterer. Ugh. Look at this shit. Okay. Let's throw that in there at them. <laughs> Yo, dog, look. The elk Kragnan is so huge, it's clipping right through the cage. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Alright, maybe they killed these people and shit, but the elk Kragnan are still cute. I don't care. Maybe they... Maybe they deserve to die. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are the Elk Kragnan actually hostile to me? Yeah, they are showing up as red. But they're so docile, they can't even really do anything about it. <laughs> Which begs the question, how'd these people die? Right? Did the Elk Kragnan just lock him up in there? Damn. Like, this would be... Are they the family members? Or what? That we heard about? Right, because isn't this the... The Hesnerovs, or whatever they were called? Their family? They all, like, died off or something? They were bad at, um... They got super ill coming to... Oh, shit. Coming to... High Grav Aquila. After being in space for so long? Uh-oh. <laughs> that ship may be a little too big. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, here's the will. Optional talk to Frank Langston about- Oh, fuck yeah, we can get Frank in on it. Hell yes, baby. This is Sahar Hazanov's last will and testament. It's many pages long, but the most important part is she names Blake Aldwell as her primary heir. Apparently, he was an, an illegitimate child of one of her sons. Oh, shit. Okay. Why did they never send anyone out here to check for the will? Like, if they knew the will existed, how come they never sent anybody out? Yo, what the fuck is this? What is this shit? Oh my god, I don't... What? Holy fuck, it looks so cool. Okay. I'm guessing it must be some, like, in-universe science fiction, right? Drink some booze. Why not? Oh, a Canuck ad. Sure. Okay, I'll munch on that. Eat all the food. Drink all the booze. Should I take this hyper catalyst? Fuck it, I am. Okay. Okay, sure. It's wild how many people just have, like, posters up. 
in their domiciles that are just ads, <laughs> right? I say that, and yet, I don't know, average... Average video game playing audience domicile <laughs> situation, right? You know what I'm saying? <gasps> Fucking, let's get some Funko Pops up. Let's get some some other shit, other some other corporate shit. My gosh, let's just get all the fucking like shit up in there, you know? Good lord, poster of like your favorite anime, some fucking Marvel thing that you liked before the you, right? They fell off now, but this was the real time, you know? This is when they were really hitting on all sixes. <laughs> Good lord, I don't know, cause those are also creative works, right? We're coming down a little harsh, right? It'd be more like um, you go into someone's house or their or their bedroom, more more specifically, right? You go into someone's bedroom, and they just got like <laughs> they got posters up for like I don't know toilet paper. <laughs> they got posters up for Tylenol. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. You know what? We don't even need to do this, huh? Okay. Head over here. Good. There we are. We'll see how Frank wants to proceed. Because maybe with this new information out about the will. Like, I don't know. It I definitely seems like now Frank is... is I... Oh, I can't miss it. Like, you know, Frank is probably going to have to get the boot here. some illegitimate child. Which I don't... Do we know who this person is? Hang on. Let's see here. Oh, fuck. Okay, notes. Oh, dear lord. We're never gonna find it now. Let's see. There we go. Sahar. Blake Aldwell. Who is he? He was an illegitimate child of one of her sons. Do we know Blake Aldwell? I don't think we do. Okay, there we go. Let's do a quick save. But I feel like, you know, knowing Starfield, Blake Aldwell is probably going to be somebody like really fucked up, who desperately, like, could use uh, a hand or whatever, right? In some fashion or another. Okay. Head on up here. Let's see if we have any recourse with Frank, though. Because maybe Frank will feel for him. Okay. I really like it here. I just wish the people in the city were a little nicer. Hey, Frank. This place will never have a future if everyone's fixated on the past. I found the last will and testament of Sahar Hazanov. Who the who? Wait, wait. Hazanov? You mean the family that owned this manor? Oh, hell. Elias Cartwright. That man's always had it out for me. My credits are as good as anyone else around here. I got a business proposition. 10,000 credits, and I take that alleged will off your hands. No questions asked. God, he's fucked up. He's fucked up. I think I'll hold on to it. Give Frank the will. You got yourself a deal. You're as rotten as Elias said you'd be. You're as rotten as Elias said you'd be. I paid good money to live here, and they're the ones trying to cheat me. If you start seeing sense, the offer is open. I mean, it is like gross negligence on the part of the Freestar Collective's end, right? Their governance or whatever, like, realty organ- I have no idea how it fucking works. It's either gross negligence on, like, the lawyers who handled the, you know, last will and testament situation, or the realtor, or the city itself. And they should absolutely, like, uh, cover Frank for his, like, time and expenses and all that shit. You know? 
Like that that is it is massively on them for having fucked that up so royally to where <laughs> it's just some random fucking adventurer who just comes in and, and fixes it all. Okay. But I kinda like it. Hey there, Elias. Like I said, be careful. I'd rather you forget the whole Hasanov business rather than getting hurt. Well, don't worry, I got Sahar's will. She left everything to an illegitimate Hasanov, Blake Aldwell. You got it. That's wonderful. But Blake Aldwell. Wait, let me think back. There was a Blake. Might be we can track him or any surviving kin down. I'll get my lawyer on this. Frank Langston's in for a rude surprise. And we can maybe see a Hassano return back to the core. I'm glad we're doing right by the Hasanovs. Here's the part where I get paid. I don't expect Frank's going to take this lying down. Alright, yeah, it's good that we're doing right by the Hasanovs. They helped make the Freestar Collective. But you all really did fuck them over. Living <laughs> right? Like well, it's more than I could have hoped for. You've more than earned this. You've done the city a great service. Okay. Sure. Wow, we don't have a follow-up to it? We don't track down Blake? Huh. Okay. <sighs> Aquila City truly is the jewel. Have a wonderful visit. Okay. Man, I wonder if we can find this Blake out in our journeys or whatever. Right, the way in which they they specifically name the sun, it makes it sound like he is somewhere out there in the vastness of the space. He is actually out there, and you can find him. Now look at this. I don't know this like language. Is this a real language? I have no idea. But it says FB. I think either that or it's. Initials in a different language again, which would make more sense. Whatever that same language is. Okay. Cool spacesuit. Is this like the original very first building or whatever? From uh the Co family? God I almost thought that was a fucking pair that <laughs> someone put out here. <laughs> okay. Cool. I can just kind of come up here. No one really gives a shit. All right. Sure. Really wild how they just kind of built everything around it. <laughs> it's got to be said. We okay. Need to be smarter, oh, Keone. Better in the way we handle the Ashta. Ecologies are living things. They move. They change. The way we handle Ashta works for now. Okay. So yeah. we have to be prepared. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we gotta be prepared. Definitely. <laughs> I can't believe we can't uh tell Keone like ahead of time. <laughs> okay. Well, should we go to our room? Fuck, where did we even get it? Was it at the rock? I don't even know. Okay, you know what? Actually let's go into the terror brew. I don't think we've been in here yet. Oh yeah, Terra Brew. Cool. I'm guessing Terra Brew is held in a bit higher regard than Chunks. Though it doesn't seem like it, right? It seems like Terra Brew is just as, you know, sort of skeevy as... as Chunks is. I don't know. Except maybe it tastes better. Hi there! Welcome to Terra Brew. How can I help you? Thanks for choosing Terra Brew. What can I get you? Oh, uh, nothing actually. I thought maybe you could get me a quest or some shit. You meet all sorts in Aquila City. Look at this! This is another that fucking guy who's tall, huh? Stretch. Yeah. Lots of crime over there. Look at this shit. There's not enough to do around here. How? How can this be? Yeah, look! Huh! What the fuck? The UC can't be that bad. Why is it the Aquila City interiors there this way? 
Jesus, are there others that I can go inside? It's just the businesses too, right? I think so. Because I'm pretty... Yeah, when we were inside of the barracks or whatever, there wasn't any anything standing out. Oh, I wonder if inside the rock. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, the aqueous hematite we did. Uh, aqueous hematite. Thank you. Spontaneous parties have started up all over Sidonia as it promises boom times. Wow, spontaneous parties everywhere. Okay. I don't think we had heard that one yet, even though we did that quite a while ago. Okay. Ashtar are sometimes spotted by the farms. That's why we only use robots outside the walls. All right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I forget if we had actually gotten a room here. Just waiting around. You're probably looking for Mary. Some days it feels like if I stopped stitching people back together, the whole city would be a ghost town in a week. Oh shit, your husband is the mayor. Are you the same Cartwright family? If you're hurt or need medical supplies, then you came to the right place. Otherwise, maybe move along. Busy day. All right, can I buy Here's something? What I've got on hand. Hmm. Med packs, but I don't know. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. We'll buy them. How many med packs do we even have right now? Do I have like a gajillion of them? Let's see. Oh yeah, I've got over a hundred. We probably can hold off on buying them now. Stay safe. I mean it. The doctor can provide any supplies you might. Okay. Anything over here? Free med pack. Wait. You know that's not ours. Yeah, obviously. Okay. What do you want me to not take it, though? And have us die? Oh, shit. Can I actually grab it from this far? Hell yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's, um... God, was there an, a, a place that we rented a room for here? Yeah. A lot of famous people visit Aquila. Shit, no, it wasn't here, was it? Support staff. These rangers are Geppetto. blooded folk. They ain't afraid of anything. Yo, what the fuck? Are these synths? And then they've got their own, too. Okay. We still haven't encountered this person, Alyssa DeMille. Aquila City Concertos. I don't even know where we would find Might a big place for performances like that. Oh, fuck. Maybe it's up here. Office. Oh, shit. No, probably not. Okay. All right, well, let's leave. I don't know where the <laughs> where the places that we got the room at. Oh, good lord, we're back here now. Okay, well, fuck. Are there any other buildings we haven't gone into aside from the two Sanctum Universum and the the other one? I think we've looked at them all, but fuck, it's hard to tell. Okay. We'll do a quick once over. Okay, just citizens. Here's a guard tower. Anything of interest in here? Nah. Just a way up. Could check the tippy top. That would be a little thorough. Nah. Nothing much. Okay. Sure. 
Let's see, and down here, what is this area? Have we, we been down here? I don't think we have been here. This is like a little garden area. Residential. Okay. Nothing much here. Load zone. You know, that's what you want. You want the load zone to be right after the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> That's always good. Okay. Another guard tower, it seems. What is this place? Oh, the Starred House. Right. Did you have a quest for me or anything? There are wooden cell systems without the trade authority. Though he was Potentially involved in another quest that we had just progressed. Okay. Huh. I think we're by the brewing tanks. Hmm. Recreation field. Okay. Aquila City, it says up there. People just chilling. You're just a citizen. I used to be an oh, Aquila City information. I thought those were mission boards. Okay, there's Laredo. All right. Shooting range. More of the shooting range. What is this? Oh, more of Laredo. Okay. I think we've looked at everything except for the two religious buildings, right? Have I gone in to check at Galbank after the whole hostage situation? I don't think so. Right? I don't think I have. Have I? There's also this bar, but I think it's entirely outdoors. I'm proud to say this is Aquila City's newest establishment. I think the we've talked to you. To be the yeah. Best. If you had a good visit. Yep. Good chat. What about you? Oh, do you have a quest or something? Hello there. Oh no, it's you're been a hireling. Long time since I saw a new face at the hitching post. Did you just come from the spaceport? Yeah, I just flew in on my ship. Aye, Captain. I am not surprised. You have the look of a starfarer. Do you employ a crew? I'd be happy to offer you my services as a mechanic. I have experience working on traveling ships. Fuck, I should have been calling myself the Starfarer instead. Can you tell me more about your skills as mechanic? I have worked with ships all my life, so I am familiar with most of their systems. I am especially good at fixing impact damage from combat or space debris. I also specialize in repairing shields. I think they're the most important part of a ship. I've seen firsthand how bad it can be if they fail. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I don't need any help. I understand. If you change your mind, I'd be happy to join you at any time. Not quite opening day, but okay. close enough for some specials. Oh, you have a name. What's your deal? Um. Oh fuck! You're also a hireling. In need of a doctor <laughs> or a botanist? I might be able to help. I could use a doctor. I don't need a doctor right now. What kind of doctor? I trained to be a surgeon at the core, but I know a lot about Rongwa and internal medicine too. My parents are doctors. I grew up learning from them. What are Rongwa? Well, uh, I don't need a doctor right now. Oh. Um, well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Welcome to the Hitchin Post. <laughs> Shit, you we really thought I needed a doctor, so huh? Do most ships have doctors on them? At least, like, private vessels? Yeah, you can't enter here. Okay. Oh. There we are. Alrighty. Have we looked inside of all these other places and gotten potential quests? I remember talking to... I don't do payment yeah. plans. I don't want to hear you. Okay. Get... 
Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Into any trouble. Okay. Let's see, where is it at? There's the enhance. Is that it? No, that's the museum. Here's one of them. This also is for sale, it says. Can we enter this building? I wonder if this is one of the buildings we could buy. The stretch apartment, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Sure. Okay, and then up here. Are you important? No. Whoa. Is that the first time someone in this game has spoken entirely a non English language? Okay, Sanctum Universum. Let's take a peek. Oh, wow. Sounds like some little chittering creature somewhere, too. Oh, look at how this... Oh my gosh, cool. Okay. Sanctum Universum. A Greater End. Si Wu Guan. Investiture. Okay. Can I have words what with you? What first attracted me to the universals is the beauty and symmetry with ecosystems, astrophysics, and science. Is it too wild to think it's more than just a chance? I I don't know what what's going on. Finally, oh, I can't actually talk to you. Church in Akira City. Okay. So then, the other religious organization is actually the like secular one then okay let's do a quick save because i do want to look at all this in the name and authority of the sanctum universum to whom it may concern let it be known that si Wu guan is in charge of all matters for the universals in aquila city free star collective signed keeper achilles or achilles yeah we met them back on oh we just took it we met them back on um new atlantis which I guess implies that that's their main, their primary facility there. Jake and the Inu. I will just take these. Good. I think we got a duplicate of that one, but just in case I took it anyway. It's free reading material. I'm trying to hold off on reading it for now. Until maybe we get more. Okay. Exotic wood. Little plants. Sure. Oh, and that's it. Wow, it's fairly small. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I thought we were getting a quest or something in there. Guess not. Okay. I don't think you can formally join any of the religious organizations beyond... Uh, picking as such at the beginning of the game, right? Oh, hey, there's a rooftop access. Is this the purchasable house? No, I don't think so. What is this building? Oh, it's a museum. There's an inaccessible rooftop access point. Huh. Oh, that's wild. Okay. And I think the other... The secular building is on the other end of town, right? This building being constructed. I wonder, does Aquila have some sort of ordinance to where you can't build beyond a certain height or whatever? Is doing some really I have to wonder. Also, I want, I have to imagine that, yeah, it would, right? Like, whatever you can do on Earth, it would have to be 50% smaller at minimum, right? Rock might have some work for someone like you. 
Huh. Because of the gravity limitations. Right? It's, what, 1.51 gravity relative to Earth? I would have to assume that that would mean, you know, shit that's load-bearing needs to be extra load-bearing. You probably couldn't build as high unless you ha somehow have, like, stronger metals. Okay, there's Galbank. Ferrolite is doing some really exciting things with holograms. Ferrolite. I'm unfamiliar with Ferrolite. I'm also unfamiliar with where the other building is. There's Laredo. Yeah, we just came down this way. Is that it? Is that their symbol? No, it's not a triangle. It's like a hexagon or something. Or an octagon. There it is. Okay. Hold up. What was that behind there? Okay, I thought it was a weird manhole cover. Alright. This has got, yeah, House of the Enlightened. Okay. Cool. Let's take a peek. Okay. Also, similar to the other one, way smaller on the inside. <laughs> right. Which I think it may actually be adequately sized based on the exterior, but you know how video games are. Usually, the interior is somewhat bigger. Whoa. Desktop mask decoration. Okay. House of the Enlightened. Bunch of plates. Notebook. Any reading material? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, the fruit cellar. Oh, here we go. Bad people, bad jokes. For we are all connected. Anton Garaya, affirmations. Please stay as long oh. as you like. Unlike the other person, I can actually talk to you. Oh, what is the House of Enlightenment all about? Ah, I'm asked this question more than any other. I'll do my best to explain. While we're different individuals. You and I are also members of a common species, and a shared society. It's those bonds that make our growth and evolution as a people possible, both spiritually and intellectually. Together, we can share our burdens, learn from one another, and enrich each other's lives. In unity, we find both solace and strength. <laughs> There's more to it, of course, but I find that some lessons are best learned on one's own. Are you here to recruit people? It doesn't seem like it. Not at all. We don't do that. Well, most of us don't. We prefer to let people find their own way to us, if that's the right path for them. I'm not here to make a sales pitch, just to inform and share. Having said all that, the Enlightened are always happy to welcome new members into our fellowship. Oh, but we can't actually formally House join. always open for quiet reflection. Come back anytime. Okay. Any interesting books here? No. We can read the affirmations. Anton Goraya, affirmations. You are good enough. Imposter syndrome is real, but you got this. Put every visitor's needs above yours. Serve the community at all times. Every day is an opportunity to improve Aquila City. Okay. Sure. Yeah, you know, sort of like the daily affirmation stuff and whatnot. Fucking pears. Whoa, look at the tea collection, though. Fucking A. Okay. Sounds like there's also a little creature in here, too, chilling out somewhere. Huh. Just a big old weird looking rock. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the for I feel like uh, you have to have certain personality traits or whatever for the sort of affirmation stuff to work on you. You know, I feel like it doesn't really do anything for me and sometimes can even seem a little creepy. 
but I think for some folks it definitely can like help and put you in a better mindset and stuff right even beyond like you know more formal what would you call like meditation or whatever or just sort of like focusing yourself and just like clearing your mind as it were you know but just having sort of not even necessarily daily but daily affirmations you know can can help some folks out in that way all right what is this building? Is this actually the, like, concert hall? The Silence of Sand. No, this is probably something else, huh? Yeah, I think this is just a tower. Okay, weird. There's definitely a balcony there, though. Huh. Hold up. Alright, before we call this video, I want to take a peek at that. Okay. Good. Yeah, look, there's oh, totally a balcony. Alright, here it goes. Oh, shit. How do people normally get up here? Oh, look, there's an access door. Huh. A bunch of wood? There's plants up here. Someone's been watering these plants, I guess. Oh shit, am I trapped? Huh. Weird, it's a mystery building. <laughs> Maybe to be used in a future DLC or something. Okay, how peculiar. Oh, and here's the factory part. Of Laredo, I guess. Yeah, must be. If we enter from this end, we don't, like, go into the factory section, do we? Because it was quite cramped. Yeah. Yeah, the physical space of Laredo doesn't really entirely make sense. <laughs> because they very clearly have a big warehouse, but from the interior... It really doesn't seem like it. Huh. Alright. Well, holy shit. I suppose when next we come back, we will maybe either go on a rest. Right? We'll take a nap or whatever. That way we can follow up with the quest we're on. Or we can just fuck off on some weird-ass adventure in the system or nearby. You know? In fact, maybe that's more likely. I kind of like that. I kind of prefer to have the time pass in a more natural way, you know, unless it's especially gripping, which right now we're kind of like at a lull, you know, for the Ashta situation. We're kind of at a point where it's like, okay, we've formally finished one quest and we've begun a, the next stage. So I'm kind of down to just screw off and go look for an adventure Hi. around. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. All right. Uh, however, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. And we're looking to the help menu, where we can also find controls. Are there any hidden controls we may not know about? Let's see. Movement and interaction. Walk forward, backwards, strafe, left and right, sprint, sneak, combat, slide. But we don't have it. Yeah. Requires gymnastic skill. I would love to get that at some point. Uh, jump and boost pack. Activate. Flashlight. Hold mouse 5, which I rebound. Swap between first or third. Use mouse to look. Ready or fire weapon. Aim block. Bash or power attack. Oh, melee weapons have power attacks. Okay. I'm guessing they don't have the, like, hold your attack to do the power attack situation. Grenades, reload weapon, holster weapon. Let's see. Menu nav. Okay. Yeah, nothing much. Hmm. That's it. Some folks have said um, with the boost pack, there's an alternate binding you can sort of make use of to have less of a vertical boost and more of a horizontal one, which is quite useful. But I'm not sure if I feel like using it, right? Because I would not have 
discovered that on my own. You know? I don't know. Like, it's it's not horrible enough to where I necessarily mind. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should just fucking get over myself. <laughs> should I just get over my... Polling you, the viewer, should I just say fuck it and get over myself? Or... Should I continue to be a stubborn butthole? <laughs> All right. Uh, when next we come back, we will proceed to doing some weird high-flying adventure who knows where. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>